Squeak. I could hear a faint hum and the smell from before started to get worse. A bunch of old newspapers we pasted together. A message has been hastily smeared on it. Keep out, danger due to cave in. I wanted nothing more than to get out of there. It's really loud. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope that I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg had was bad enough as it was. If I could have though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep a such who would keep such a place? At least I thought I had found that old handgun. This seemed to work, and from the smell of it it had been used already. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar way to there. Hmm. An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there, but it was so high up that it must have been a sore landing. Oh, maybe it was you. That's why you're limping. My leg ached just thinking about it. Oh yeah, definitely you. There's dirt on the ground. It looked wet and there was grass smeared within it. Ah, there is similar dirt on my own shoes. I could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? Actually, I wonder what that ladder was then. Disgusting. It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? Yes. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover within the tape, but I took it anyways. I did not want to keep digging through this mess. I do. What's a pile of garbage doing down here, though? A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. I want to touch it. I slipped the knife into my boot since I had the gun in my pocket. Did I really need all this? Yes, you do. Oh, jeez. That made me jump. I wasn't sure what those valves were used for. Did I turn it anyways? Yeah. Whatever these valves did, this one wasn't pumping water anymore. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyways? Yeah. That was still active. Did I turn it again? That was still active. Did I turn it again? There we go. Nice and quiet. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it again? Yeah. But, I'm assuming this unlocks some kind of puzzle. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. Through the dust, I could see handprints from the previous use, probably from whoever worked these sewers. Doors locked, there was a musty smell from inside. Turning those valves must have drained the water that was in this room. There was a ladder I could reach. Huh. Looked like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. The smell didn't improve much as the room was damp. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? The faded paper was yellow and dusty, but there, it had obviously been wiped off recently. The door's locked. There 
there's a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what had happened. Maybe the VHS tape I found could be useful. There's blood. Oh, that's why there's blood. I found another dead body, a sewer worker. By the wounds all over his face and body, I figured he'd been stabbed repeatedly with a knife in my boot. There was a keyring sticking out of the man's pocket. Did I take it? Yes. I thought the knife that I had found with some dis I thought about the knife I had found with some disgust as I carefully picked up the keys from his pocket. I was almost worried he was going to grab me. I was feeling even more sick from seeing another dead man. I didn't want to get any more blood on my clothes. Um, arrow points that way, so I go this way to the locked doors. Is the key ring to unlock the door. The shelf full of security tapes was strictly organized, though covered in dust. Looked like the tape I found was the one thing was the one that was missing from the shelf. I wondered what was on the tape and why it was thrown out. There was a dusty VCR in the security desk. I wondered what was on the VHS tape I found. They play the tape. Jesus. The video showed a man right there in the sewers being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched like somebody had tampered with it. It looked like there could have been two men. I couldn't stand to watch that video again. I wonder what was on. Oh, you already watched it, dude. Let's go to the other room. That was locked. All the way back. In this room, I tried to bunch the keys on the key ring I had found on the sewer worker, and one of them seemed to fit. I don't like that sound. The faded receipt was half trampled on the floor. It was from the local train station, and it was for two tickets. I didn't know what use it could be, but I, did I keep the receipt? Yes. I neatly folded the soiled receipt and slipped it into my front pocket. The wall was littered with dozens of old, faded papers. Whoever did this was obsessed with some local murders. According to some of the clippings, bodies had been found in ravines and forests, and in one case, dumped in the back of an abandoned truck. I couldn't be sure, but I thought some of these same articles have also been pasted up, up back in those tunnels. Did that sewer worker find this room? Is this why he was killed? A collection of stale liqueur bottles littered the floor. The room didn't seem like much of a place for drinking. What was the point? Hmm. Holy shit. Okay. That made me jump. Mm, let's hurry up and get out of here. I hate tunnels. Just follow the conveniently placed arrows. This must have been where the other end of that ventilation shaft. Whoever used it could have gotten past that flutter room with this. Clever, but why go through all the trouble? My sore leg and the extra weight I was carrying made climbing the ladder difficult. Would I need that gun or that knife before the end? The thought of that videotape still gave me the chills. Who was it that didn't want to be seen? Was it the same person that hid all those newspaper clippings away in that locked room? Suddenly, the awful smell of the sewer gave away to the dank scent of pine trees. Okay, guess I'm out of the sewer. Go up the ladder. 
and a ladder leading up to the ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I could climb it. Did I extend the ladder? Yes. I popped the latch and brought the ladder down. I hate you bats. In a patch of smeared dirt and grass, there was a beat up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? Yes. I slid the filthy wallet into my back pocket. I noticed it didn't contain any kind of gun permit. In fact, it didn't contain any cards of ID of any kind. I thought I should recover my credit card and driver's license at least. Did I put this up here? Or was somebody else carrying it? From the railing, I could see over the woods and down to the entrance of the, to the sewers. Had I come through there before? If I did, someone was, someone definitely could have seen me. As I looked again, the view reminded me a bit of that blurry negative I had found in the other man's bathroom. that the rusty door is locked tight with an old padlock the faded sign on the door warned about some kind of train yard it must have referred to the town's only train station it didn't look like I'd be able to get through there at all and it just repeats This must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on that map I had seen. Whoever was poking around in those tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here the sign pointed out various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. I almost wish I had paid more attention to those crazy scribblings. Maybe I would have been less nervous about entering that dark forest. Two pass. I guess I'll take the first one. It's a rock. Trampled in the dirt and grass was a plastic card of some kind. I brushed it off and it was surprised to see it was my credit card. I wasn't sure if it was still usable, but it was mine. Did I take it back? Did I take back my credit card? Yes, I took it back. I pocketed the credit card. Hopefully I could still find my driver's license too. Kinda weird that it's out here in the forest. Through the fence, I could see a dilapidated outbuilding. I wondered if I could find my way around. What was that? There's a fire pit there. It was still a bit warm, and embers still burned at the bottom. Was someone else out in those woods? Why did they abandon their campsite? Two folding camping chairs were on the ground. One was knocked over. There were a couple of cans of beer spilled on the ground. Whoever was here left this place in a hurry, but why? The cheap dome tent slept two people. I showed my flashlight inside and could see some bedrolls, two backpacks, and a cooler. I felt like if I kept rooting through the campsite, someone would walk in on me. I came from that way. That's the second way. Oh, there's a third way. Um, far this way, go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I hear someone moving around. There were some personal effects shoved back into the rock. Wait, there's a notebook there too. Did I read it? Oh. This side uh, the chief dollar store notebook was a page after worn page of names and lists. None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. Rachel, her name was last on the list and had a mark beside it in blue ink. The names Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather, and Rose had also been crossed out, but these marks looked older and more faded. Who were all these names? I could only think about how much I needed to get home to make sure Rachel was okay. 